Hello, we're going to take a look at the Bazaar by Machine Gun Studios, which is currently one of the free assets of the month of July 2023. Uh, normally goes for around $95. And uh, the other products are also part of the Spotlight sale of July. So you can also check that out. The folder size is about 4.85 gigabytes. Going into the overview level, you can see the uh, different parts have been separated in different sections. This is like the architecture uh, section. You can see the details up close. They're good, very good quality. Does not lose that much detail. Uh, also, the weather here, I have hidden it to make things look uh, better or make things more visible. This is like a dishware and a... Uh, this is like a lamp uh these are the pots but the, if you, as you can see there is there are kind of low polar lower ver vertex count uh, these are the carpets the market stands which are prefab blueprints then these are the palm trees not the highest quality trees i've seen but should do the job and these are like prefab houses you can go inside however uh, there's also a second and third floor in this case but you can go to it by stairs or something else and like i said these are like prefabs along with this tower and looking at the collisions they're typically fine because uh, the shapes are not uh, that complex However, when it gets to more uh, non-regular shapes, not that great, it's okay. And uh, this asset pack is meant for 990 if you are using 5.0 uh, or above. Going to lightning only view mode, it doesn't show it. Uh, you have to disable nanite for it to show properly. Uh, this, yeah, this is like the mesh modeling itself. The non-smooth edges of the pots should be more clear now. Generally they are good but still there are low vertex counts for in my opinion or low tris for a uh, pack of nine for nanite. Now let's enable them again. You can see yeah, some of the assets that were not even nanite now has been changed. Uh, there is a reason for that, uh, like the trees are not nanite by default because foliage wasn't supported by nanite in 5.0. You can see that uh, these are some of it are world or most of it are world aligned textures. So when you move it, the texture stays in like it stays in the world, but the, when your object moves relative to it. Looking at the folder structure. Uh, these are the blueprints, uh, the, the rope, and these candles. However, these candles are not included in this overview level as far as I know. Which is strange. You can turn it on and off. Yeah, it not, does not use subsurface scattering. It's like a building prefab, but there is nothing included. There was like a blueprint utility for it uh, to like convert it to um, what was it instance? Oh yeah, to separate it from the prefab and make it into separate meshes. However, that doesn't work as expected because no prefab inherits from it. Um, here is the rope. Uh, it's basically a spline. The effects or the VFX are old cascade system. Uh, you can see that they're well separated, and these are like some prefabs. The levels, yeah, you can see there are multiple levels uses uh, level streaming. You see the ma materials and the looking at the di texture dimensions. There are three 8K textures. 98 4k textures 179 2k 36 1k 9 5 12 and 6 2 56 and 5 1 28 textures there are some textures that have alpha channels textures are generally either vfx or base color normal and orm uh, ambient occlusion roughness and metallic 
with uh, I think one or two masks and some height maps or displacement maps or parallax effect however it's not that useful in displacing uh, the mesh itself because of the UVs uh, one thing to know when I open the textures you could see that the maximum dimensions of the texture have been changed with that uh, or with the LOD bias checking the vertices they're uh, generally less than 5000 vertices materials they're uh, mostly less than one material uh, and um, these are have the UV channels for the foliage uses it for wall position offset uh, extra UV channels I mean Looking at the UVs you can see um, this uses two materials uh, that's for like the trim sheets because there are uh, some trim sheets there and these pots they do share the same textures to reduce the draw call when using nanite however it can lead to increased vram usage because of mip mapping if the objects are further away from each other looking at the material instance for the pod we can change the albedo of the color of the entire object uh, and you can change the uvs and tile and stuff because of the mask provided here you can change the different parts of the different colors of the different parts or different take a uh, pattern of the pot you can see these are using the same material and they're using trim sheets i think this brick wall is a good example so we'll go with that you can change the albedo uh, albedo power or change it to non-world aligned You can change normal. I think we could better get closer to see the effect. Yeah, the normal intensity and the fake displacement. Normally, it uses parallax occlusion. You can turn that on, uh, on and off, or because of the off, it uses bump offset. If it's on, it uses parallax occlusion. Uh, you can change the world aligned uh, size. This gives you the option to have control over the size of the thing uh, of the brick size for example here and these are like the dirt color uh, looking at the um, the vertex color uh, because it, in the material it uses that for different layers now make sure the alpha is on uh, this annoying message first let's just make it uh, red for the red channel and then green so you can see which each one what each one does and the blue is i'm not sure but this is like the crevices or the edge where uh, here it's subtle it's a really subtle effect and for here for the alpha it controls the wetness uh, it may not be that apparent but make it oh Oh yeah, it doesn't add, it just overwrites anyways. Um, these are the wetness parameters. I don't know why it's not applying. Okay, here, it's fine now. Okay, everything should be working. Yes. The albedo uh, makes it darker or uh, it should be a, a little bit dark if it's too wet. Changing the roughness along with the height. You can see the height is like a blend. And you can make it colored and change the colors to whatever uh, you want. And the opacity to control how opaque it is. And then this puddle wind, I'm not sure I couldn't get it to work. In fact, getting this vertex uh, color to work is a bit, uh, I don't know, buggy f at the moment for me. I don't know why. I mean, I had to restart the editor to make it work. You can enable the rain, which can be seen here. I mean, I really like such stuff can change the like between uh, the colors or the contrast between between them change the intensity the rough uh, yeah the, talked about that and then also the tiling you can make it uh, larger or smaller Uh, 
and then the top mask uh, it works only if the object is facing up upwards in the z direction so for example here it's working but when you flip it then the blend power controls how it blends lower number means sharper blending these are the materials there are some material instances this is for the foliage this is the master material uh, it's kind of uh, huge I mean from the parameters obvious so that is the blueprint that is, is the utility plugin um, you get the prefab and then change its parent class to the blueprint prefab uh, or prefab parent and then uh, drag that blueprint uh, utility inside and then uh, either add it uh, or find all or just add it manually to the arrays in the eyedropper and then click bake now all the pieces should be separated into their own different actor let's delete this and uh, ungroup so this is not limited to that you can use it on this uh, Minerva pack as well it should work however uh, one thing to notice that this is using uh, or inheriting from editor uh, utility actor i think it should have been better if it was based on actor action utility it would have been less hassle to set up without needing to repair anything but nonetheless nice addition going over to the demo map you can see the style is middle eastern medieval age or uh, to call it I think Islamic uh, architecture uh, buildings it does have like the walls because they are two-sided uh, they do have interior kind like the wall interior and this is uh, it I mean the main focus is the market or the well, that's what bazaar mean in case you didn't know Uh, one thing yeah, here it doesn't blend well even though they're both using the same material if I'm not mistaken they're, they're just not blending well together and this kind of happened on the tower as well although in a different sense is the was that the tower uh, is like a hexagonal shape because of that the world aligned uh, textures kind of uh, or somewhat could break depending on the position on the corners but here, here it's hard to change even the UVs because it uses stream sheet and makes it harder to offset the and tile it so you're kind of stuck with this unless you want to adjust the scale of the UVs and here in this case you may like those should be gaps uh, i mean it supports it normally but you have to change it to mask because even the opacity mask is provided now you can see that it is like uh, it is masked i'm sure it's because uh, like because of 5.0 not supporting mask like the foliage it has been made like that but generally a really nice scene Overall, I think it's a great pack. The modeling is generally okay, except for the pots. It's kind of polygony looks and has uh, sharp edges, which should be rounded. Texturing is great. Some of the aspects that uh, have been implemented into trim sheets or uh, one texture for a couple of objects. I, I think it's for the mm, nanite draw calls to reuse the same material. Uh, it, it's a trade-off between that and uh, texture map mapping it does have a couple of LODs I briefly showed it but I didn't talk about it for the pots the chipped parts um, should have been a different color or the original color which should be clay for the buildings well you can put stairs and stuff in them uh, there is like just one brick stair not uh, house stairs um the collisions are generally okay -ish. the vfx unfortunately uses the old cascade system which any pack for uh made for five unreal engine five and above should use niagara uh, the texture parameters were rich uh, it has many options and with using vertex color you can add many variations uh, the pots had a nice uh 
mask texture which the other ones also had it um, like I said the, the displacement maps while they provided you cannot use it unless you make your own UVs it's generally a modular pack the candles were not included in the overview level uh, there are there are LOD bias and maximum texture size used to decrease the texture to a degree that uh, that's performant and still look good which I like because the original texture is provided if you want that and finally hope you have a great day